Below in this problem, we've got a perfectly competitive firm trying to decide how many units to produce. So it says the graph on the right represents the costs and revenue of a perfectly competitive firm where the market price is 600 per output. So this means everybody is a price taker. This firm has to choose 600 as price, and uh, you know, that's what their marginal revenue is because they're each additional unit they sell is going to sell for 600. Okay. So the condition that we're always going to look for under perfect competition since price oh, is equal, oops, make that smaller, oops, is equal to marginal revenue. Um, and I always want to produce to where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Okay. Uh, then the case is just that price equals marginal cost. So this is pretty easy on the graph. Okay, so here's our marginal revenue. So we're going to follow this all the way to where it hits marginal cost. It hits right there. So let's make this like, well, it's really big. That's okay. Um, yeah, it's too big. It's too extreme. I'm sorry. Okay, so that means 12 units. That's the answer for that one is okay, so twelve is the answer there. Okay, now what is the profit or loss of this purely competitive firm? So you can do this two ways. The long way is to calculate total revenue. Total revenue is price times quantity. And then uh, find the total cost, which would be average total cost times quantity. So doing that the long way, get out the calculator, and make it a little faster. It would be 600 times 12. So 600 is the price times 12 units. 700. Mm, so total revenue is 7,200. Okay. And then our total cost. So the way to find that is we want to go down to where it hits average total cost. So right here, 450. Um, and so at 450, it would be 450 times 12, which would be 5,400. And so that's just 720, well, 7,200 minus 5,400 is our profit, which should be give myself a little bit more room there, and is 1800. Okay, so 1800 is the answer there. The fast way, why do you might be wondering why did he, why did he do the, the long way? Well, you know, it's good to know both. Um, so we're gonna, this is our price, we're gonna follow this down to where it hits that. And then, so this rectangle here represents profit at that price. Okay. So this whole rectangle here says 150 on that side times 12. So if we take 150 times 12, we get 1,800. We get the same price. We get the same uh, amount of profit. So this is the same answer. That way is a lot faster. Okay. A couple more things. So that that answers the question. But a couple more things. Um, if you're asked about the uh, shutdown price or the shutdown level of output. The shutdown in the short run occurs at 250 uh, price or cost and six units. So the firm is never going to produce fewer than six units because that's the minimum of our average variable cost. So anywhere in between 400 and 250 for the price they're going to produce in the short run, lose money, and in the long run they want to exit the market. Okay. Now up here where they're at, they're earning a profit, but new firms are going to show up. And so we are not at long run equilibrium. So if you're asked that question, um, we're not at long run equilibrium until the price gets knocked down as new firms enter. And so the price of 400 would be long term equilibrium price. And the condition for that, in case you're ever asked, long run. is 
case where average total cost equals marginal cost equals marginal revenue, which also equals price. So there you go, a little graphical example for perfect competition.